Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 with the Flying Fent. This is Orthodox Ottomans, episode number 99. It's the Wayne Gretzky. And we are uh, at war with Sweden. They declared war on us because our manpower was low, and they figured why not. And I commend them for it. That is a, a smart move on their part. Uh, it kind of ticks me off because it's me they went to war with, but it's a good move on their part, absolutely. I can't, I can't criticize them for it too harshly. Uh, okay... Armies are moving. The thing that works in my favor is I have such huge manpower that I recover it fairly quickly as well. Why don't you go up there? Ship come back, pick up some more people. Oh, wait a minute, I'm at war now. I can just go through the Empire. Whatever, I'm doing this now. Uh, you guys come over here. This group, this these people, these two armies can group up, form one army, and uh, they can march by the empire. It'll probably be faster at the end of the day. Uh, but I'm going to mass all my units down here. And what I want to do is break them up into armies again, and then let manpower recover. And as manpower recovers, then I can kind of march off bit by bit. I think that's going to be the smartest way to do this. Uh, I'm initially going to lose territory and uh, therefore war score, but I will t take it back uh, eventually, so it won't be the end of the world. It's 11 that I want. I'll just do the uh, infantry first. It'll be easier, I think, to do it that way. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got twenty one, right? So I should be able to split it. There you go, there's another eleven. Alright, good. I'll let everyone move out of the way. Uh, which one was the these guys? You can move to Dalmatia. And I accidentally put two armies in Serbia. I kind of knew I was doing it as I was doing it, but I did it anyway. All right, move out. Okay. Um, and I was actually thinking of changing the size of these, and if I'm going to do that, I should do it now. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. I don't know why I said perfect. It's not really. Uh, one, do I have another one? I do. I have another one. There's another one. And another one. Okay. I figure I might as well reorganize while I'm waiting for manpower to recover anyway and armies to reinforce, so... Lost the Siege of Moravia. Not worried about it. I'm really not. To be completely honest. Press. This is against two. Austria. Yeah, I'm not losing stability for Austria. Armies have arrived in Serbia. Fine. I'm waiting for Oltenia. That's the last one to get there. So she should give me 12 infantry in each army. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Uh, split, select, 14, there's 12, might as well you move you guys up as well, where was the other, there we go, and there's 12. Alright, I don't know exactly what size I'm going to make them, that's why this is kind of taking a while. These guys, why don't, these are all the spares. All the spares can meet up in Donny Kragi. Go, all the spares are in Donny Kragi. Wait for these guys to finish spreading out. Gained a bunch of money. Uh, 
You're going to Montenia, you're going to Tarnarvo, and you're going to Sofia, right? Yeah, good. Okay, so we're almost there. We've got two more units to finish moving. One more. There we go. Okay. So it's 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. All right, then I'll do, um, let's see, like three. Because cavalry is starting to lose its effectiveness, right? So... Tarnarvo... Altenia. I don't think I'm going to Altenia yet, am I? No, didn't think so. Uh, Sophia. Serbia. Ragusa. And then Hume. Those guys get out. Lost an advisor. I don't know which one. It was our tax guy. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going with stability cost. Because we can't really afford the other ones. These are arriving. Sieges are beginning. Ending. Battles are being won by allies. Look at that. We're actually winning the war. We haven't done a darn thing, but we're winning the war. That's how good we are. We can just sit on our tuckus and win wars. I'm just driving to Tarnarvo. Good. Group that one. Group this one. Hurry up. There we go. All right. So 12 3, 12 3, 12 3, 12 3, 12 3, 12 3, and 12 3. Uh, so. That's all of these guys done. They can move to Lika. These are just spares for now. Reinforcements, you could call them, I suppose. Uh, now, with these guys, I want to do groups of five. So let me just remove three from there. And this way I can do um, five. Five and go to Mantenia. Five and go to Tarnarvo. Five and go to Altenia. Five and go to Sofia. Five and go to Serbia. Five and go to Raska. Five and go to Hume. Okay, so what are we left with here? One set of five plus three more. And one, two. Now you can be that spare army. The spare army is going to be real kind of hobbled. It'll be a good siege army, I guess. So way too many cavalry. So these should be sizes of 20, 12, 3, and 5. Now arrived in Sophia, good. Okay. Now that in here. Go with 3. Let's pull three out. There we go. So these are two separate militaries I can use just for sieging. We're in a Regency Council, which is unfortunate. Are they any good? Uh, they're not horrible. It's too bad my guy is so friggin' young, though. It's going to take forever. Uh, stability dropped, but it doesn't look like we have a revolt risk, so that's good. Alright, so as I said now, it's all about waiting for armies to actually reinforce before I can really kind of move off and start dealing with things. Uh, they wanted Novgorod. Have they sieged? Is that one of the places they've sieged over here? It is. So we need to take that back. That'll be our primary objective. And the reason for wanting to take that back is, of course, uh, to get rid of the ticking war score. So let's start headed this way. We'll go to Mogilev. Uh, units will kind of step all over each other, but... Where does this revolt want to happen? Trebizond. Ugh. Fine.
Or do we want to, you know what, let's let's just get rid of Bohemia first. Let's get them out of the war. Alright, we'll make it quick and dirty. Once they're out, we'll deal with... Uh, change of plans. I don't want you guys going through there. There we go. Uh, once Bohemia is out, we can go ahead and work on someone else. Work on um, Sweden. Because that's all it is, right? It's just Sweden and Bohemia. I've always found that the dangerous thing is when Sweden allies with uh, Muscovy. But since they didn't do that for us... Yeah, it kind of makes life easy. Siege of Kulm is over. That's up there. Again, that's fine. I don't care. All right, Bohemia. I got two more armies to show up. Okay, now I'm going to drop uh, one behind to do sieging. I'm going to come after... You know what? Let me do Radebor first. Beat them up, and then I'll go to Moravia. Lift the siege there. Actually, I don't have to lift the siege. Uh, once I've beaten them up, I'll go and siege their territory. There we go. That takes care of that. How are they? They're down to 28,000. Oh, this is going to work out nicely. There we go. So I'm going to drop a unit off there. Move on. go. Armies have arrived. I will drop a unit off and move on. Go. They've all arrived. Same thing. We'll drop a unit off and move on. I don't like these guys being there. They're Pomeranian revolutionaries. Uh, I don't think they'll cross the border, but we'll see. Shelmo, I'll drop a unit off. And I will move on. Now, I do want to spread my armies out a bit here because uh, I really want them to recover their manpower and I want to be able to keep an eye on that. Uh, right now, I don't have enough. I would need right enough to be able to take these guys out to really go on against them. And I don't right now, so I'm just going to kind of sit tight, let manpower recover. Pretty sure Sweden's at uh, tech level 23 military. Oh, they're at 24. Wow, they're two ahead of me. Okay. So I'm going to need a, uh, a distinct advantage. They're moving to Vilna, so I do not want to move to Vilna anymore. In fact, I don't even want to stay there. Let's uh, let's just move everybody one tile. Uh, lose one stability or lose the money. I, I'll take the stability because I can just buy it right back. Luckily, there's no revolt risk cropping up, so we're okay there. Alright, so we have 48. Where are they going now? Minsk. So they're headed this way. Then Pinsk. Have you decided you're going to come over here and try and beat up my units that are sieging? You have, haven't you? Alright, well let's slow down the speed then. And I will come... Oh, I can't go to... Sandomirs. I'm pretty sure they are. Alright guys, stop what you're doing, because I need to get you to uh, force march. That's all for you, right? Yep. And I need because I need you to get over here in a hurry. You gotta go around and you gotta get there before this guy kinda beats this unit into submission. So you gotta move quick. Hold out, people. You're not gonna be able to hold out. Dang it! So we lost, now we jumped in as the attacker, now we're taking them down, here we go. Lost the Siege of Polotsk, not really worried about it. Because Sweden's main army is about to cease existing. Oof, I hope. Man, that was close. Whew. They're going to Poland, okay. Do you have an alliance there? No, you're just passing through. Good, keep going. I will... Oh, shoot, I wanted to leave one unit here. 
No, that's the one I wanted to leave there. No, you're the one that's staying. Two is staying. There we go. Everyone else is leaving. And the uh, Force March is getting turned off on everybody. Two, one more. Three. So I'm going to move on Moravia. We should have time to do something before they come back. Wow. And we don't, because they're already turned around. All right. Um, I guess hurry up. Because they are coming back. Whoa, 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 what? How did they enter the war this late? The war's been going for like a year. What is that nonsense? This is garbage. They want what can what can I've given them all their oh they want uh, me to revoke imperial reforms. Well, no, that's not friggin' happening. How seriously? How did Holstein enter the war this late? How does that work? How? How? Like, the war has been going for three years. I, how do you pull allies into war after three years? What makes that even possible? Well, Bohemia, will you leave? I have no war score against you, but you have war score against me. So if we get you out, maybe that will be enough to get the peace that we wanted from Sweden. I mean, I've got to give up some stuff. Right? I got to give up Novgorod. I, now I can't. Now I can't give up that other thing. They don't want nations released. They don't want vassals. They don't want cores returned. They just want me to revoke an imperial thing, which is not friggin' going to happen. On the plus side, that was actually kind of genius. These guys are all exiled now, so he can't engage them in battle. So let's leave and go far away. Denone, sounds good. You, for some reason, are not exiled. However that happened, I have no idea. Uh... Obviously, there is a bug occurring here now, because this is kind of nonsense. Let us, yeah, let's go this way and around. Uh, how they join this war, it, they should have never been allowed to join that war. It's been going for three years. How do you get an ally to join you in a war after three years? And of course, everyone is going to un... Everyone's going to be un... Uh, thingied. They'll be in Krakow when on the 23rd, and I'm not going to be out till April. So I'm going to suffer just a crushing defeat here, and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, whatever. I, this is bullshit. This is complete bullshit. The war's been going for three years. How do they get a vassal in? How do they get an ally into the war after three years? How is that even possible? I would love just the, you know, they're going to reinforce again. Get get out of the war. Can I not retreat? No, I can't retreat. Of course I can't retreat. Till the third. Oh, I can retreat. Holy jeez, I won? I don't know how I won. They obviously didn't reinforce fast enough. 
but fine, we're leaving. We're up to three. Minus 11. Uh, it's nonsense. This is nonsense. Can't retreat until when? The 11th. Well, that unit's just going to get routed then. Bye bye army. Just stack wiped. <sighs> Alright, do I have any recourse available to me here? If I just like walk to the far reaches of Sweden, no, they'd know I was coming. Yeah, I as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing I can do. I just sit back in the dirt and let my manpower recover and hope I eventually reach a point where I can potentially fight back, but I mean, how how do they get it? How do they join after three years? You know, uh, what is, can I have twenty four? So concede defeat won't do it. Uh, you don't want anything here. You want me to cancel Vassalage of Brandenburg? That's not going to happen. So I can't get uh, the Hans out. Holstein, do you want to leave? I'm going to assume no. No. No point in even trying at minus 57. Yeah, how did they... As far as I know, the once it's beyond 60 days, it's pretty much impossible to pull somebody into your war. The only way... Unless they've entered another war together, does that... That might do it, actually. Poland, Austria, and Cleves. Poland, that's how they did it. They pulled them into a different war and that automatically put them at war with me. Ugh. What nonsense. What utter friggin' nonsense. Well, I have a stack of 55, so let's... It will slowly get big time goes by. I'm going to move up and I'm going to try and siege... I'm going to unsiege, hopefully, the war goal. And then try and siege Sweden's capital. That's really all I can do, right? That or just take out a thousand loans and recruit a billion mercenaries. Uh, whatever we decide to do, that'll be in a future episode. So for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.